Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakash Tutorials. In this video, I am going to design quarter wave dipole antenna at 2.4 GHz operating frequency. In my previous video, I already designed quarter wave dipole antenna at 2.4 GHz operating frequency. So in that video, I modified half wave dipole antenna. Half wave dipole antenna. So now here step by step procedure I will design quarter wave dipole antenna at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency. So first save the project. Right click on the project one. Click the save as button. Select your location. So now you will select I will uh, now here I will select. I selected desktop location. So select your suitable location give the name of the project so my project name is qwd quarter wave dipole underscore 2.4 gigahertz click the save button so my project is successfully saved and after that go to the project Select Insert HF, HFSS Design. It takes it takes some time depending upon our system specification. A 3D modeler window will appear here. So this is a 3D modeler view. So here. In this 3D modeler view, we can design our antenna. So first draw the radiating element. So select the cylinder. Draw the cylinder in the plane. So uh, give the rename of the cylinder one. Double click on the cylinder one. So rename is dipole. And change the type of the material. The type of the material is PEC perfect electric conducting conductor material and if you want to change the color change your interested color choose your interested color <coughs> so click the ok button and after that change the dimensions of the cylinder dipole so now where the operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency so at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency, the height of the dipole is 29.1 mm. So wave length is 125 mm and lambda by 2 is 62.5 mm and lambda by 4 is 31.25 mm and gap value is 2.08 and subtracting that gap value from the lambda by 4, we get 29.1. So that calculations already explained in my previous video that is a design of half wave dipole antenna at a 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency in that video that calculations I already explained please refer that one and height of the dipole is 29.1 mm and radius of the dipole is 1.04 mm and portion is x portion is 0 mm comma y portion is 0 mm comma z portion is that dipole is will be shifted upward direction by 1.04 radius of the dipole shifting towards upward direction along the z direction upward direction 1.04 mm so click the ok button now select the fit all So the uh, dipole, uh, uh, the radiating element is successfully fit, uh, uh, fit all the screen. <coughs> and after that, draw the port, draw the input feeding. Select the first, select the YZ plane. The input uh, port is applied YZ plane. So select the uh, 
Select the rectangular, rectangular sheet. Draw the rectangular sheet in the plane. So give the rena rename rectangular one. Support. So click the OK button. Now change the dimensions of the rectangular sheet. So now here the uh, Y size is 1.04. That is dipole radius. And Z size is also 1.04. And x size is uh, y size is 1.04, z size is 1.04, and axis is along x axis. And position is x position is 0 mm, y position is uh, minus 1.04 by 2, and z position is 0 mm. So click the OK button. So that is a this is a input port. So the port is successfully. set here and after that coming back to the xy plane now draw the ground plane select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet in the plane so give the rename this this is ground plane ground plane and change the dimensions of the ground plane so double click on the create rectangle and exercise now where the height of the uh, dipole is lambda by 2 is 62 mm so the x size is 62 mm and y size is 62 mm and ground plane width and length ground plane x size is 62 mm y size is 62 mm and position is x position so x position is uh, 62 by 2 before representing negative sign minus 31 mm y position is minus 31 mm z position is 0 so press the ok button and select fit all ok the ground plane is successfully assigned and after that assign excitation assign excitation so right uh, right click on the port select the port select the port right click on the port so go to assign excitation select lumped port so now the full port imp impedance is 50 ohms click the next button so draw the new line integration select new line so draw the new line integration from lower port to the upper port so on the lower port wherever the triangle appears in that portion click that portion draw the li uh, line uh, line integration from that portion to the upper port so similarly on the upper port wherever the triangle appears in that portion click click that portion so the new line integration is successfully defined so press the next button and quarter wave dipole antenna the input impedance is 30 ohms click the finish button so the port is successfully assigned excitation port is successfully defined so this is excitation port successfully defined assigned so, uh, next select the ground plane right click on the ground plane assign perfect electric boundary go to the assign boundary select perfect E so click on the OK button so perfect electric boundary successfully assigned to the ground plane and after that draw the radiation box select the box uh, draw the box in the plane double click on the box one give the re rename radiation box 
and select the type of the material is air material click the ok button and the transparency is 0 0.9 click the ok button and after that change the dimensions of the box double click on the create box now where the lambda by 2 is 62.5 mm so approximately we are I am considering 62 mm so x size is 62 into 2 2 times of the height of the dipole so 62 into 2 124 mm y size is 124 mm Fit size is 124 and x portion half of the x size and x portion is minus uh, minus 124 by 2 62 mm y portion is minus 124 by 2 and check portion is minus 124 by 2 minus 62 so half of the x size x portion is half of the x size y portion is half of the x size z portion is half of the x size before representing negative sign so pre press the ok button select the fit all so now select the radiation boundary radiation to the box select the box select the radiation box right click on the radiation box go to assign boundary select radiation so click the ok button so the boundary is radiation boundary successfully assigned this is the port excitation port this is the perfect electric boundary and this is the radiation boundary and after that set the analysis setup so go to the simulation setup select the advanced so now we are the my operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency and maximum number of passes i will i am selecting 12 and maximum delta s is 0 0.02 so press the ok button and after that this window will appear so now we are the select the starting frequency and ending frequency starting frequency is 1 gigahertz and ending frequency is 5 gigahertz and number of samples 91 count select the sweep type is fast select the ok button setup is successfully assigned and after that check the validity validation check all are successfully validated now start the simulation click the analyze all simulation is started simulation it takes some time depending upon your system specification so simulation is completed now observe the simulation results first check the s parameter value go to the results so model solution data report check the 2d polar plot select s parameter s11 in decibel click the new report s parameter will be generated so mark the operating frequency my operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz so mark the 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency so at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency the s parameter value or the return loss value is minus 8.33 decibel so theoretically the return loss value is minus 10 decibel but practically its value should be less than minus 10 decibel so now we are the 
at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency the return loss value is minus 8.3 decibel so the uh, the antenna is not designed properly so now we will change the antenna parameter slightly that antenna parameters are height of the antenna height of the dipole and uh, radiation dipole, dipole radiation radius so now i will change the height of the dipole select the structure so go to the uh, double click on the dipole create uh, double click on create cylinder so now where the height of the dipole is 29.1 so now i will take the height of the dipole is 26.8 mm so press the ok button and now check the validity and start the simulation and resolve and after completion of the simulation the s parameter graph will uh, the s parameter graph updated automatically so now uh, s parameter value is updated so at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency the return loss value or s parameter value is minus 14.45 decibel so this is less than minus 10 decibel so uh, my antenna is successfully designed at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency so now uh, let's check the vsw value go to the model solution data report select 2d polar plot 2d plot select the vswr click the new report so mark the 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency the vswr value is so the vswr value is 1.46 this is very good value so the quarter wave dipole antenna is successfully designed and simulated so now let's check the 2d radiation pattern so first set the infinite far field setup so right click on the radiation insert far field setup infinite sphere so now the starting pi value is 0 and stopping uh, stop value is 360 degrees and stop size is 2 theta is uh, starting value is 0 stopping value is 360 degrees and stop size is 2 so click the ok button so infinite far field setup is successfully assigned and after that observe the 2d radiation pattern go to the results select the far fields far fields report select polar plot ok so go to the far fields reports select magnitude or angle polar select the two, uh, two dimensional gain radiation pattern directivity radiation pattern so in decibel and select the family of the frequency the theta and phi values are 0 to 360 degrees so now here i will select some angles so 0 degree 0 
3D directivity polar plot 3D polar plot gain 3D polar plot directivity so gain gain total select in decibel and let's select the directivity in decibel close this one close this window and this is the 3d polar plot gain pattern so the maximum gain is 1.68 decibel and directivity directivity 1.56 1.56 the gain value is 1.68 and directivity is 1.56 so this is 3d polar plot So observe the orientation, directivity polar plot, and this is the uh, this is the top view, top view orientation, bottom view orientation of 3D polar plot, and the right view, front view, isotropic view. So these are the different orientations of the directivity radiation pattern. Next, generate the two dimension uh, 3D polar plot without decibel, and this is the 3D polar plot uh, with decibel. Next, observe the 3D polar plot without decibel. So, go to the results, right click on the results, create far fields report, select 3D far field reports, select the gain or directivity or realizer gain. So, now where I selected the realizer gain without decibel, click the new report. So this is the realizer gain without decibel. So now we are in this realizer gain. Observe the uh, top view. This is the top view, and this is the right view, and this is the front view. So next, observe the structure with 3D radiation pattern. <coughs> so right click on the far field overlays, select. Plot fields, radiation field, and select realizer gain plot or directivity 3D polar plot or directivity uh, gain uh, directivity 3D polar plot or gain 3D polar plot or uh, realizer gain 3D polar plot. So now we are select uh, realizer gain 3D polar plot. Apply that one. Close this window. Select the structure. And this is the structure with structure with realizer gain structure with 3D radiation pattern. So now we are the observe the orientation. So this is the top view, and this is the right view, and this is the dipole antenna, quarter wave dipole antenna. This is the center feeding. And this is right view and this is the front view and this and this is isotropic view
So this is the design and simulation results of quarter wave dipole antenna at 2.4 GHz operating frequency.